Hello, my name is Faith Johnson and I'm the Arts Program Manager at the Boston Children's Museum and I'm a practicing artist. I would say that art for me is my voice in the world. It's really my first language. It's the way that I understand myself and it's the way that I understand the world around me. Creativity is really the place where we can come together and dream and really keep open the doors of possibility. I see the world as a magical and creative place. And in my art, I invite others to explore this kind of magic through their imagination together to connect with each other, themselves, and sometimes the natural world. This piece is called We Are What We Dream. It's an interactive installation, which means it's art that you can participate in and it's put in the gallery in such a way that it changes how you feel about the whole space. I invited people to think about the question, if we were to dream a different world into being, what would it be like? I asked people to sit quietly and listen to their inner thoughts and share what they imagined. What we imagine and dream together affects the world later through our actions. What do you dream of the world being like? So this is a community artwork that I created with the River of Life community in Jamaica Plain. And even though it looks really simple, it took a long time to make. When I'm creating an artwork, I like to make a plan. Usually I'll make a drawing of what I think the art will look like when it's finished. Sometimes I need help from friends when I'm putting the work on the wall. I use sequins and a nail that I put through a hole in the top of the sequin, and then I wrap thread around the nail. So community art is when an artist works alongside a community to create an artwork that reflects what's important to them. So each of these sequins represent the sparkle of each community member and the big sparkle in the center represents the sparkle that brings them all together. It was important to this community to work through some difficult things together in a beautiful way. Here's some things they said. Community is necessary beautiful, tragic, hurtful, healing, family, and messy. Community art brings the community together. My newest project is called the Water Keepers Library, and it's all about helping people connect to the magic of water. So far there are over 48 samples of water in the water library collected by people from all over the world. Each sample is collected with gratitude. Gratitude means saying thank you. I collected these three bottles of water from mountains in the Andes. I walked over 36 miles in three days to show my gratitude for this water. When I share the water library with others, I wear a special water librarian uniform. I've sewn hundreds of crystals onto my uniform to make it sparkle like water. During the exhibition, each person chooses a drop of water from the water library to hold in their hand. This kind of art is called performance art. It's when the actions of the artist is the artwork itself. In this artwork, we gather and we sit in a circle and I play singing bowls and I guide people to connect with the water 
through our thoughts and imaginations. I wonder what the water would say to you.